So in today's two minute use day, let's find out how we can connect Node to the Chrome DevTools so that we can leverage the debugger and inspector to debug our server side code. Bye. 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 So I have a simple express server set up here. I have a bunch of users and a get API that's been exposed where the users can be searched by their username. There's some logic to match the users. And if a user is found, we return 200 else we return 404. I, I've added a debugger statement here because I want to step through this API and see how the API executes line by line. Now to connect Chrome DevTools to node, we can use the Chrome inspect UI where we have a tab called remote target. And what we want to do now is to ensure that node is set up in a way where Chrome can see it as a remote target. And to do that, let's kill our server and run it again. Except this time, let's pass in the minus minus inspect flag. Now that we've run this server with the inspect flag, we can see that a debugger is listening on a certain WebSocket uh, URL. And on Chrome, we can also see that a remote target has been set up for our index.js file. So we can click on the inspect uh, link here. And on the, on the server side, we can see that a debugger has been attached. And we can also see the code that we're trying to execute in our uh, dev tools that's popped up uh, on the right as well. So now let's fire this API again. And now we can see that the code has paused on the line where we've set up the debugger. We can also see the, that the API is currently waiting because until we finish our execution and we can step through each line using the Chrome debugger. So we can see what username was passed for instance. We can also jump over to the console and uh, see what the value for certain certain variables are. For example, if I want to see the entire request that was sent, I can just pass an REQ because that was the parameter that was passed in. And I can go through the list of uh, methods and values that are available inside this if I want to debug this further. But for now, let's just continue on. And we can see that the API has resolved and we were able to see the execution of the API as well. So this is how you can connect Node to the Chrome DevTools to debug your code or inspect your code with a lot more granularity instead of having to use uh, console logs all over, all over the place. So if you found this video useful, please leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.